Some of your instructors may use online quizzes. There are a lot of ways that these can be set up, so each of your instructors may set these up differently. Before you write a quiz for your course, there are a couple of things you should do. If possible, you should use a wired connection to make sure you have the best connection possible when you write your quiz. Another thing that you should do before you write your quiz is to check to see if your instructor has a practice test. Aside from using the practice test to get used to how your instructor sets up their quizzes, you can use the practice test to double check your internet connection. If you're having issues with the practice test, you should find a spot where you can write the quiz with a more stable internet connection. You might also want to let your instructor know that you've had difficulty with your connection during the quiz. Open your quiz from the course page. When you open the quiz, you should see the settings on the quiz, such as when it opens, when it will close, how long you have to write it once it begins, and whether you have more than one attempt to write the quiz. If the quiz has a time limit, that time limit will begin as soon as you press Start Attempt and will count down until time is complete. The timer will keep counting down even if you leave the page or close your web browser. So make sure you have enough time to write the entire quiz before you begin. Once you begin your quiz, you'll have a box on the left with links to individual questions. You can use these to jump between sections. There's also a timer showing how much time you have left to submit your quiz. A tip for writing your quizzes is to use the flag question button. If you don't know the answer or aren't confident, you can press the flag question button. It'll add a tick to the corner of the question block on the left. You'll also get a quiz summary page showing status for all the questions on the quiz including whether or not you've saved an answer or flagged the question. You can use this to mark a question, skip over it, and return to it once you've finished the rest of the quiz. You can press Submit All and Finish to save your question answers and submit them to your instructor. If you have questions about how the quizzes in your course are set up and run, you should check your course syllabus or contact your instructor.